What's up guys, welcome back to Easy HVAC, where we talk about all things HVAC. Uh, today we are doing another maintenance on a Linux unit. We've got the filters. Uh, we're changing out more filters today. And then we've got some things to check in the electrical section. But this is our Linux unit. Alright, so let's get started with our filter change. Pretty easy to change filters on our, our Linux unit. It's uh, six filters total for this particular uh, model. Here's the model number and serial number. This is for an aer aerobics room. locations on a uh, schedule for filters so you want to put the new ones in this is the uh, the economizer for the Linux unit this is the actuator motor this motor controls the dampers right here it just opens up and allows fresh air uh, allows fresh air into the unit to be mixed with uh, your return air and whenever we economize we close the bottom dampers for the return air the top dampers open up 100% allowing uh, fresh air from outside in so fresh air Comes from right here through these filters, metal mesh filters, yeah. outdoor air filters. Okay, so you have fresh air coming in, and that's the air that's basically going to cool the space, uh, free, you know, free cooling without your compressors. And that air that's sucked in from outside is exhausted. It, the air is exhausted by these two exhaust fans right here. So that's when we economize. Uh, but it's pretty hot already, so we're not really, we, we won't really be economizing uh, for the summer. filters so let's go over to the electrical section and just check a few things there I'm gonna use this for a our contactors and check our contacts. Alright, 
So there, this is our electrical section. We have the, uh, the M17 board. And here are the contactors. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, check contacts real quick. Always make sure that you, uh, you know, check the electrical, electrical connections, make sure everything is nice and tight. And then you can come right here. I'm gonna take this plate off. little bit of, of pitting on this contactor uh, definitely could be replaced Let's see a little bit there and pitting is just is caused by excessive exposure to heat and voltage uh, and contactors are just uh, those components that do need to be changed uh, from time to time There you go, that's how you check your, uh, your contactors. Just make sure you make time to take those plates off and look at them because uh, if not, then it can definitely cause problems for you, for the customer, uh, in the long run. So we're gonna check, we're gonna keep checking the rest of these, as well as our capacitors here. Yeah, that's basically uh, how you, how you uh, check your contactors. So, I'm going to continue on with the rest of the maintenance. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you on the next one. See you later, guys.